morning to you, too, sunshine. Go away, Blair. Called your office. They said you called in sick. You don't call in sick. What, you never played hooky? You're the boss. You don't get to play hooky, Schnucky. I'm fine. No, you are not fine. And there's only one cure to what ails you. Taya, you, how am I supposed to do that? Did you miss the part, Blair, where Taya waltzed out of my life and took our daughter with her? And swore she'd never have anything to do with me again. Oh, come on. Taya would have said anything at that point to, you know, calm Danny she down. Meddled. Taya's still head over heels in love with you. Well, you've taken to your little bed here. It looks like you've got it bad for her. All right, too. Blair. Whatever it is I'm feeling, I'm over it. Thank you very much. I guess it was temporary insanity. So you can go now, Miss Nightingale. Thank you. Wow. I ain't damn good, aren't no, I? I just don't want to waste any more sleep because Taya's found love of my life. Do you mind? Oh, okay. Sure. All right. I'm out of here. Do you know, Todd, after all the lies and all the hurt that they've caused, maybe it's... Listen. Maybe it's time you were honest with yourself. So, um, what's up? I mean, it must be pretty important. You just answered the door half naked. Sorry, I, uh, you didn't call me back, so I went and worked out in the hotel gym and just got out of the shower. So. Really? Yeah. Hmm. hmm. Listen, I wanted to talk to you, uh, what I wanted to talk to you about was uh, what happened last night. Okay, shoot. No pun intended. <sighs> Good one. Um, look, I need you to promise me that you won't tell anybody that Danny showed up to your house waving a gun. So how is Danny today? Well, I'll tell you. Seems to think she's doing better. You know, working through some things anyway. Working through things how? You know what? She didn't really go into details. But uh, she promises there will not be a repeat of last night. Oh, and I'm supposed to bet my children's father's life on Taya Delgado's word. Is that it? What do you want us to do, Blair? You Haul her down to the LPD and have her booked on attempted murder no, or what? Uh, Danny needs help, Eli. I mean, serious help, but she doesn't need you and Taya covering up for her. Oh, you're right, you're right. Taya knows that. Look, the last thing I want to see is that little girl punished for anything, and she certainly doesn't need to be sent away alone again, that's for sure. Exactly. Listen, thank you. I'm curious, though. You really care about Danny? Even though she's not your real niece, or it is her mother that you care so much about. I couldn't help notice last night when you and Taya showed up over at Dorian's to help Danny that you were all decked out, going on a date. What's it to you? Just curious. Well, if you must know, Taya was feeling really badly about Danielle. Oh. And what happened with Ross, and I wanted to make her feel better, so I took her out. So you were just being a real sweet brother-in-law. Is that it? Fine. Fine. Maybe I am interested. And maybe she's interested in me, too. Or maybe one day she will be. Of course, I'll probably be collecting Social Security by then, because as of now, she is nowhere near over Todd. Guess there's no hope for a guy when the woman he wants wants another guy. So how long has this little affair been going? So now that Tay has sworn off Todd forever, the field's wide open for you, right? Now what makes you think that I even want to play on that field anymore? What do you mean? I thought you wanted Todd. At least Tay certainly thought so. Well, you know what? So did I. And I even told everybody that would listen that the reason I broke Tay and Todd up was for my kids. Now, my kids even called me on that one. Yep, they knew what I wouldn't admit myself that I wanted taught. Can you explain to me what women see in that guy? Hey, I don't get it. Is he worth the trouble? Am 
My brother's dead. Taya and Danielle are a wreck, and you... You, you know, Elijah, if I could predict the future, would I do what I did? Probably not. Absolutely not. You know, but for whatever reason, whatever is going on with Todd and me, I sometimes can't recognize the difference between love and uh, stubborn pride. Pride? Yeah, pride. Pride is exactly what was going on back then. I've, you know, I just wanted to win. I had to beat Taya. And I did everything I could to break them up. I mean, you were even a part of that. Oh, yeah, on behalf of my brother, but you're right. I'll own up to that. And even after I tried everything, I finally just had to admit that Todd really loved Taya. <laughs> Timing's a little off. So you can shut off your feelings for Todd just like that? Not just like that. <laughs> I didn't think so. But you know, with enough time and the right distraction. Like my brother. Did Ross distract you? No. He could not make me forget Todd. I wouldn't worry. I'll find someone who can. A gorgeous woman like yourself. <laughs> and I don't think you have to worry about anything either. I'm sure a handsome man like yourself is not going to have any problem finding someone to uh, distract you <laughs> from Taya Delgado. Uh, you know, since the people we both want want each other, maybe you and I should get together. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs>